guys, this is Blackie Swag, and I'm coming to you with my review of Hunter Hunter episode 147, Salvation and Future. I believe that's the name of it, of course, it'll be in the video. But this episode, this episode was actually pretty awesome. It was very sad. I teared up at the end a little bit, but I'm so, I'm still so hurt that there's literally only going to be one more episode before the series is going to be ended for a while. So. It's a sad, it's a sad moment for all Hunter Hunter fans as of today, well as of next week, because the anime is going to be over and the manga has stopped right now as well, so we don't know when Hunter Hunter will be coming back, I'm so hurt, but it's okay though. So in this episode, like last episode, Gon was talking to Jing and he told him about like Kite and how he needed to apologize to him and all that good stuff and Killua saved the Luka and was able to get away from the Zoldic family and take the Luka away from being literally barricaded in the house all of her life. So Killua and Gon are finally now able to do the things that they wanted to do now that Gon has been revived. Gon, he went, he finally went to go see Kite and we see Kite talking to koala the purple koala i cannot remember his name to save my life oh my god purple koala that's what we call him purple koala and he pretty much just told her him i keep wanting to say her because it is he is a girl now but kite will forever be kite so i'm gonna say him so he felt inclined to tell kite his whole like life story like why he killed the girl that kite now embodies and like pretty much like what he went through his whole life like he was literally pretty much like a hitman he killed people he pulled the trigger for any reason but he feels like he felt like when you die your body literally just decomposes goes to dust and then nothing else happens but now that he has seen what really happens like the fact that he got eaten by the chimera ants and then was reborn and still has all of his consciousness but the fact that he's not in his original body anymore he sees that dying isn't just the last step in your life you like your soul literally can live on forever so he sees that now now that he has become a chimera ant and after all the stuff that he went through and he was talking about how he took the easy way out by killing that girl because he didn't want her to be continued in the cycle that he has been going through his whole life. But he should have killed the other ants that were chasing her and trying to kill her and he didn't so he pretty much just felt like an asshole for taking her life when he when she wasn't the blame in the situation so after he finished telling his whole story and all that good stuff kite and he tried to walk away he said that he was going to he pretty much said that he was thinking about taking his own life kite told him that he is going to follow kite for the rest of his life and kite is going to put so much work on him that he's not going to even have time to think about what's right or wrong and if he ever wavers in his what's the word i'm looking if he ever wavers in his beliefs as far as wanting to make it up to the girl that he killed, Kite will kill him. And I don't doubt that in the slightest. So, Kite, well, so the purple koala pretty much is going to be the devoted servant to Kite for the rest of his life. And then we see Gon. Gon finally comes to see Kite. And Gon talks to Kite and he pretty much tells him that he was sorry he wasn't strong enough to help him. And Kite was like, well, you went through a lot from what he heard to kill Pito. So the fact that he killed Pito and Kite could not is amazing. And Kite said that, like, he pretty much was like, both of them underestimated and both of them had misguided judgments on what was going to happen during that fight which was why Kite died and which was why which is why Killua attacked Gon well didn't attack him he knocked Gon out so that way they could get away because they had all miscalculated what Pito could do so in that 
fight was like, it's okay, we're friends. I understand why you're apologizing to me and you really shouldn't have to apologize because they were both at fault in the situation. So Kite forgave Gone and now they're friends again. So Gone is going to go see Jing and he goes back to the Hunter Association and Gone I mean, and Jing is not there. He left him a note and Beans was like, I tried to stop him but it didn't work out that way. So Jing told him to meet him at the top of the world tree. So Gone met up with Killua again and they were all like traveling together and they got to the got to the world tree and they were walking around the city and we were getting toured around the city and Killua pretty much right before they leave, Killua pretty much tells Gone that he was the reason well Luca was the reason why Gone was saved. Killua was the person who saved Gone. And Gon just, he started acting like a big baby. And Killua was just being an asshole, but that's Killua. I mean, there's only so much you can do about Killua. But Killua was being an asshole, and Aluka jumped on Killua, and Killua did his little cat grin. But pretty much he, Killua showed Gon what Aluka could do, and the fact that it's really, they both helped, e helped each other, because it hadn't been for Gon. Killua wouldn't have been able to get Aluka out of the house, but if it hadn't been for Luka and Killua, Gon wouldn't even be here. So they do what friends do and they were helping each other and they understood this. So after all of that, they finally parted ways and Gon was like, no matter where we go or how long we don't see each other, we will always be friends. And Killua was like, yeah. So they parted ways. Gon went his way to go see his dad and Killua and Aluka left to go about their business and it was so freaking sad like I teared up a little bit and then like even in the credits they showed like Kill and Gone being together and all the things that they've done together since they met and it was just it was so freaking sad I was not ready I was like y'all y'all are already cutting off the episodes at 148 and then you're gonna do all this sad shit really really this is what we do now okay but that was pretty much like the end of the episode so now next episode, Gon is probably going to be able to talk to Jane, which I'm really looking forward to. So this episode, it was awesome. It was really sad, but it was awesome. And Kite just looks fucking badass. Like, even as a girl, he's badass. So I'm looking forward to seeing how things turn out, even though I'm so sad that next week's episode is the last episode, but that's neither here nor there. So as always, I would love to hear how you guys felt about this episode, but please remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. It helps me out a whole lot. And this is Subaki Swag saying adios.